Welcome on to the next edition of Run with Coach Parry. I'm Brad Brown. We've got the coach, Lindsay Parry, with us once again. And as we build up into the final stages of Comrades this year, we've got a very specific Comrades-related question, and it's got to do with your last long run ahead of Comrades this year. We've got uh, the coach with us. Lindsay, how's it? How are you doing, Brad? Yeah, very good. Uh, I, I almost get that uh, song from Europe singing in the back of my head. It's the final countdown. Because uh, it is the final run-in to Comrades this year. And, uh, a lot of people sort of putting their final preparations in place. A lot of the hard work has been done. And we've been getting this question lots on our forums on the Coach Parry training platform. Uh, and it's got to do with when to do your last run. Uh, many of the athletes, particularly here in South Africa, have been coming off uh, ultramarathons. We had the Old Mutual Two Oceans just uh, a week and a bit ago. Uh, also the Easter 100 up in Joburg. Uh, there was the uh, ultramarathon up in Joburg this past week weekend as well. Lindsay, when is the right time to, to do your last long run before Comrades and how long should the last long run be? Yeah, so Brad, I'm going to answer this in terms of ideal and then obviously depending on what people have done up to this point because we, we do need to make some adjustments. So in an, in an ideal world where the only race we were going to run in this whole exercise was Comrades, um, you would have novices who've never run comrades before doing a 50 to 55k training run um, six weeks before and that would be this weekend um, coming which would be the weekend of the 26th 27th of April um, it, everyone else essentially would be the following weekend, which would be five weeks before, and that would be the weekend of the 5th and 6th of May. And then you've got your 5% or less of the field that would be running either four or three weeks before. Some of the elite athletes prefer it that way. But, you know, let's talk about the silver medal, the, the semi-normal folk um, who don't have any friends. They will do theirs on the, the um, four weeks to go. And typically, that would also be, all those runs for me should be between 50 and 55. I'm not a, a huge fan of the 60K. Um, obviously, there's some exceptions, and depending on the training that's gone before. But as a sort of blanket rule for me, 50 to 55Ks is enough. Now, obviously, this year with the Easter calendar, the way that it was, uh, we've had two oceans being run seven weeks before. Um, and we had um, Law Corp that was run eight weeks before, and there is another 50K coming up on the weekend of the 26th, 27th. So if you haven't run any other runs and you're a novice, then this 50K is a good idea. Um, if you're somebody who likes to do these things in a race because you want to wear your running kits and you feel uncomfortable wearing running kits in a, in a, a normal training run, then it is a it's a good idea to do it in in a race um, and to really practice everything that you're going to be doing on race day, but that will then be your your long run. You're not going to do another one after that. So even you know what it doesn't matter what medal you, you you're chasing. If you're going to go and run 50 k's in in a race um, on the sort of 26th around there, then then that's it. That that's your number. For the people who ran Lost Corp or um, two oceans, you need to have th at least three weeks between oceans and when you do your next training run. And this is probably the most common question that I'm getting right now across all platforms is, I ran oceans, when must I do my final long run? And so that is my advice, is that we wait three weeks, which means that that long run should then be happening on the 11th and 12th of May, which is four weeks. And that is too close for most. So, Anyone not training for a silver medal should definitely not be running 50Ks on that weekend, 40 to 45Ks. That's really my, my recommendation. So in essence, what we've done is we've treated two oceans as the long run, but we're going to just give it a little top up four weeks out, 11th of 12th of May, and you're going to do between 40 and 45Ks. And that will be enough training. You know, this idea that you need to do 60Ks or that, Doing another 50Ks is so important for comrades, it's, it's not. It's not important physically. 
Of course, the psychology of running is very important and the psychology of running 87Ks is extremely important. So I know people feel like they need it for their, for their minds, but it's going to be detrimental to your actual race, especially if you have done Law Scorp or Two Ocean. So um, 40 to 45Ks, 11th and 12th of May, that is your best bet from this point onwards. Yeah, absolutely, Lindsay. As much as you say it is a, a bit of a mental boost knowing you've done that distance, uh, physically, the last thing you want to do is find out on race day as you get halfway up in Chunga that you've done too much. And uh, sadly, that's when you find out. So uh, err on the side of caution, as Lindsay says, and uh, you will be A for away on Comrades Race Day. Don't forget as well, we are helping James Hobbo Hobson uh, on his journey to Ironman 70.3 in Durban at the beginning of June. Uh, and if you've been following his story on our audio podcast, you'll know that we are giving away three months access of the Coach Parry Online Training Club and all you need to do is let us know what your Biogen journey is by using that hashtag Biogen journey on the socials. We'll pick them up and we announce the winner every single week on our audio podcast. Until next week, uh, we're going to be chatting about getting started. So uh, I know we chat to a lot of seasoned runners uh, on these videos, but we'll be getting lots of questions about park runs and getting started and how to get started. Next week's video, we're going to be touching on that. So uh, make sure you check it out as well. Until next time, from the two of us, it's cheers.